Hello everyone and welcome to KDH Art Class. Today we're going to be doing two different drawings. One is going to be focusing on organic and one's going to be focusing on geometric. And to just kind of mix it up a little bit, I'm going to do one of those with all the fire colors and one of those with all the cool colors. So basically when you have a color wheel, which is a rainbow in a circle, and you cut it in half, a certain way then you're going to have all your reds orange and yellow colors on one side and your blue greens and purple on the other so that's how artists sit there and so it's like well you got all these warm colors they're energetic and fiery and vibrant and you got these cool colors which are calming relaxing you know tranquil maybe show distance so we're going to be tying that together with these organic and geometric shapes. What are organic and geometric shapes? Let's talk about that for a quick moment. Let's start with geometric. Geometric's easy. Geometric, if you can name it, they're basically the shape. So for my beginners, that's your triangle, your circle, your square, your rectangle, your oval. Those are all geometric shapes. The star, right? You can even get more uh, advanced and you got your pentagon and your octagons and hexagons and decagons and all of those gons out there which means they are shapes with that many sides. Uh, so for example, a triangle ha has three sides, one, two, and three. Quadrilateral has four sides, one, two, three, four. Your pentagon has the five sides, one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. So they're pretty much shapes that you recognize. But they're also the ones that seem to have a lot of straight lines with it. Of course, you have circle and oval. That's a little different. Organic, on the other side, are shapes that really don't have names with it. You know, you can sit there and say, well, it's a leaf shape. Yeah, but what kind of leaf? They're maple, your elm, your oak tree, your pine needle, you know, what kind of leaf? Well, it doesn't really specify. It's just kind of a leaf shape, right? Kind of like what I call spilled milk. Those are those little shapes you get when you spill something on the floor or on the table. It makes kind of that organic shape to it. It doesn't really have a name. It, it's very different you know mother nature doesn't do pretty much anything in straight lines i mean even you know branches that appear to be pretty straight they have a little bit of a curve to it and and on it are the bark is all curved and zigzaggy you know so organic doesn't really have a name very much nature or however you want to do it and geometric is a little bit more structured you have names with most of it not always I mean usually straight lines not always but that's what I love about art you can always break the rules so you're gonna need a piece of paper and I'm gonna actually have my students you know do smaller versions so that they can really not be afraid to add a lot of details a big piece of paper is very intimidating and let's not get intimidated today let's just have some fun all right I'm gonna move this over to the side I have my piece of paper I have some lots and lots of colors and if you don't have colors that's okay doing it with just pencil is gonna make it beautiful no matter what if you don't have scissors and you can't um, cut your piece of paper in half my students think this is just so cool so I'm just sitting there folding back and forth wherever I want it and I'm really pinching with my fingernail and just holding on the other side just to make it a really tight tight bend in there and I'm going to do that a couple times and what you're doing is you're breaking the fibers of the paper and here's the magic you can start tearing it in an almost straight line all the way down your paper they think that is the coolest thing so I like to show that every now and then all right now 
I'm just going to take my paper and I'm going to fold it in half. Of course, you don't have to fold it in half. In my sketchbook, I didn't have a way of folding my paper in half unless I made it, you know, hot dog version. So I just did a, you know, a diagonal line down the middle. But we're just going to do it here. Right, I'm going to fold it a little bit tighter so that you can see the fold. There you go. Now you can see the fold much better. And you don't have to do this part, but I'm going to go ahead and label it. And I think this time I'm going to switch it up. I think I'm going to start with the cool colors, purple being one of the cool colors. And I'm going to do the organic shapes. So O, R, sorry, I write it a diagonal, G, A, N, I, See, and it'll be up to your teacher or your family as to whether or not you want to label these. Let me see if I can focus this just a little bit better for some reason. There you go. I really didn't want to look clean. Alright, so organic, and I'm just going to do a weird little wavy little line to kind of angle that off just to show that it's organic. Alright. And then for my geometric, I'm going to put that on the other side. Oh, there I go again, bending my paper. G. Ooh, can you see that bright color? No, you cannot. Time to switch. Good thing I checked. Let's go with this warm color. I'll grab some magenta here. All right, so make sure you can see it. G. Oh, much better. E. O M E T R I And geometric is much more rigid, like I said, more like straight lines. I'll just go ahead and show it that way. Alright, so we have organic on one side, geometric on the other. I like to put a line down the middle. Just to show the difference. Let's start with some geometric. And since I went down the middle, I think I'm just going to do a bunch of zigzag. Look at all those triangles you can form. All the way down. It's kind of a nice way of getting started without it being too scary. So geometric triangles. Since I still have this marker, I'm going to put a number on it. Let's come up with five. I like odd numbers. Five of a shape. You have to put the shape down five times before you can go to the next shape. Doesn't matter the size, just the shape five times. So let's say I want to do triangle. Well first, let's change colors. See if we can see this orange, hopefully. Oh yeah, you can see it. Triangle. Here's one. And two. Three. change colors. A 
love this. This came out with 16 different colors. Their pipsqueaks are a little small, hard for my big hands to handle really well, but I love the color, so it's worth it. It's worth the pain. All right, so we're going with a lot of these fiery colors. So the reds, the oranges. That kind of looks red. It's not red. That kind of looks red, even though it's not red. kind of looks purple, so it could go either way. The yellows. And, of course, to make pink, you need red and white mixed together. All right, so these could be all of my fun. And you can use anything. Crayons, color pencils, combination. I always like mixing them up. All right, so with my fire color, let's see, red. Where's my red? So I did triangle. Let's do a new shape. A square. So one, two lines about the same and about the equal distance apart. Makes a nice little square. Remember the rule, five. So there's one of them. You know what? This one's going to fall off the page. Two. No rules in order. Go ahead and make kind of a big one. Three. And two more. Hmm, I think it'll fall off the page down here. Four. And maybe make it fall off the page a little bit here. Five. Yeah, no rules. Change colors. Geometric doesn't all have to be straight lines. So let's add some circles. One, good, you can see it. Two. Three. Four. The one up here. Five. And my students are always like, oh my gosh, I added more. I'm usually good with more. I like more. Hey, okay. that yellow you're probably gonna have a hard time seeing. How about some rectangles? Yeah, I like these highlighters. You can definitely see them on my video screen. So two long lines, connect it, one. Three it fell off. Mm -hmm. I'm fall off on two sides. Three, four, and one more. Oh, so many choices. This is where I would usually do more, but that's okay. And five. We'll just kind of stick with the rules. All right. And let's say we've covered triangle, square, rectangle, stars. Everybody gets so scared about stars. Oh, they're not perfect. The best ones are not perfect. So zigzag. That's up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And you just keep going until you close. It's not a perfect star. But it's beautiful. And one, two, three, four. Six, seven. That one's got eight little spikes. It's all right. There's two. Some of you like to do the up, down, criss, cross together. That's fine too. Okay. Some of you like to do the triangle and the triangle on top of each other. That works too. There's four. Mm -hmm. And some of you like to do the, the five-sided, but I like to change it up. So it's not perfect. It's almost dancing. Uh, there's five. What are some other geometric shapes? Oval. I'm sure somebody out there said it because you guys are super smart. Okay, so oval is a long, skinny circle. Two. One right here in the middle. 
four, five. I think I counted five. There you go. And then you're just going to keep going and going. But here's the fun part. I encourage you to color them in. And so I love bringing in my crayons. And you can go through other shapes like I'm going to with these rectangles. No. And just doing that, look at how different our page is looking. And all I did was five of my rectangles and make them stand out a little bit more. Of course, changing colors. Oh, I happen to actually have a red crayon. I never have a red crayon. I think I'm just going to do these stars with the red. And it's okay if they go on top of the yellow. It makes it a little orange looking. Again, take your time. Go slow around the edges and then fill it in. Slow around the edges. Fill it in. Slow around the edges. Fill it in. And I know I'm going kind of fast. Right. Try and stay in your lines. Take your time. Art is very different than PE. The first one done is not a winner. And looky there. I think I'll do one more color maybe two. I'm looking at my time there. I actually have quite a bit of time left. Hmm. Do my little triangles. Right along the edges. I should be showing you that technique. And color in the middle. Go around the edges. And look, you can kind of see the yellow going through the orange. I went right on top of the red. Didn't cover it up. Fun, fun, fun. Get some of that pink in there. And no, you don't have to do them the same color. But I do recommend that you get used to using lots of different colors. Kids nowadays are really, really, really sticking to like scribble scrabble one color because they draw a beautiful picture and then they don't want to take the time to color that picture what happened to the good old days of coloring books where the hard part was getting the kids to draw the picture and the easy part was getting them to color it now it's completely different right. and let's see Somewhere around here, I had a red violet. There's my red violet. Crayons are the best when you're doing like this overlapping thing because oh, such cool, beautiful colors they create. And the neat little designs, especially when you're sticking to like the fire color theme. And I can even get a different orange color. Where's the red orange? Tell me you're the red orange. There you are. Ooh, I hope I didn't use the red orange already. No, I didn't. It's kind of a cross between the red and the orange. Then you get your red orange. kids they fight me all the time I say my kids my students they are my children I tell them I'm your at mom uh, I am at your at school grandma <laughs> and then you go home to mom I'm proud of them I love them they're the most wonderful, wonderful children in the world. And I've taught thousands, thousands of children. I wouldn't change a thing. 
All right, I think we're at a decent stopping point. Of course, you can do your little border here and up there. Don't forget your background, but you have time for that. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the organic. Now we're running out of time. So organic, let's go ahead and use our cool colors. There's your blues, greens, and purple. So anything that kind of looks blue, kind of looks green, kind of looks purple. Remember this one kind of looked purple. So yes, you can use this one too, because when we put it on paper, it looked really purple. All right, greens and blues. We don't want the shapes to really be something we recognize. So again, the spilled milk, the wiggle, wiggle, wiggle around in like a circle and and following the five rule wiggle 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 two three fell off the page four and five all right changing colors you could do water droplets those are kind of teardrops okay like that one two and they can go in different directions three four five okay. you can also do kind of these uh no, almost fiery. You can say like a little curve. Come up, curve, curve. Let it go through. Type thing. One. There's another curve. One, two. Almost like a palm tree. Three. Four. And five. Changing colors. You can just simply follow along in a space. There's a space in here. I'm just not going to touch anything. Just kind of get close to it. Two. There's a little space in here. Three. And I like doing lots of these, so I'll probably end up doing more than five. What's that? Four. And I think I'll just squeeze it in to one more spot. We need it up here. Five. And it's just filling in, filling in. I could come up with a lot more organic shapes. Seaweed growing in the ocean. One. Two. And just how beautiful is this? It just amazes me. One, two, three, four, and we'll just have maybe a smaller one over here. And it's just filling up the page. And then your leaf shapes. I've done the lighter one. Okay. like a teardrop three so we get for not really focusing here four or actually I'm just having so much fun five and then the same thing we did on the fire size is you start getting some of your colors out and you start coloring in your organic shapes or if you really just keep going and going and going all of your white paper will start going away Snail shells. 
then I'm actually going to come back in and follow it around just so I make it a shape. Okay. And you see how it's just making that white paper just become less and less white. Page. I love doing that. One, two, three, four, and one more down here. And honestly, with this one, I'm just filling it in so much, I almost like it just like it is. Maybe just fill in a little bit here and there. I'll just lightly. You know what? I'm just going to color in the whole thing. Maybe not that one spot. Not that spot. Mm -hmm. Little overlapping. Some what do we got here? Blue violet, always a great choice. And again, as you're adding your colors, it gets really confusing when you have all of those lines in. But oh, how fun would it be! Like every time you come to a line, change the color. went in there because I was in such a rush. Okay, I think you guys have the idea. I might just be finishing this project off after I end this video. It is so much fun. I hope you learned a little bit about organic and geometric shapes. A little refresher on our fire colors and our cool colors. And just having a chance to create beautiful, beautiful artworks. Have a wonderful day and tune in for more videos from KDH Art Class. Bye!